Hi Chair Yogis, Kirsty here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a chair yoga practice to release tension in our neck and shoulders and upper back. That's a place that can get really tight just from our day-to-day -day activities of always kind of hovering over our phones, our computers. Um, maybe just your posture has started to align in that way. And today we're going to really work on opening everything up, releasing some tension and getting some really good energy flowing. So without further ado, and before we begin, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and comment, and we'll get started in just a bit. So we'll get started by just finding a nice comfortable seat. If you've been to my channel before, you know that my two dogs, Cosmo and Sky, are not here with me today. I am in a beautiful studio called Mellow Yoga right down the road from my house, but I promise they send their love. We'll begin by closing our eyes, resting into our chair. And like always, just taking a few moments to get situated and relax. Maybe just start to notice our breath. Start to notice how we're doing today, how we're feeling. And then we'll begin. We'll begin by just rolling our shoulders up to our ears and then dropping our shoulders down and back. And let's just take a couple of those big rolls up and then down and back. And just about two more, up as high as you can go and down and back, up and down and back. And then let's take it the other direction. So we'll roll it forward and down and getting as much mobility in your shoulders here as possible, much movement as possible. Last one, that's it, good. And then just kind of shake out your shoulders here, maybe even shake out your arms, just get everything moving, especially if you've been kind of sitting all day or lying down. From here, we'll take our arms all the way out by our sides and then release them all the way down. And we'll just keep getting a little bit higher with everyone up to our sides, an inch or two higher, and down. Good, all the way up, a couple inches higher, and down. And this time we'll come all the way up, reach our palms up towards the sky, press your palms together, and then pull your hands to your heart. Let's take three more of those. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Last one. Inhale, arms go all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Good. Release your palms down. And then we'll just work on our right arm. So you'll see that I'm going to send my left arm forward, you're gonna send your right arm forward because I'm mirroring you. And then you'll take your right arm, you'll send it all the way up, reach it back and down, and then take it all the way forward. So let's take three more. Inhale up, exhale down and forward. Inhale up, exhale down and forward. Last one, inhale up. Exhale down and forward. Now hold your right arm out. Take your left arm and grab your, your right wrist. Pull your arm all the way across your body. Maybe we can even hook your elbow to create that little tug. You're going to feel this in your tricep, your bicep, and just breathe right here. Three rounds. Good, release your right arm and then send that right arm all the way up and around and connect your hand behind your head and then just lean over towards the left. Find this big opening through your right side body. If you have more space, you can even grab your elbow with your other hand and give it a nice pull, really stretching for three, for two, and one, release. That one should already be feeling a little more open. Now let's take all of that over to the other side. So you'll extend your left arm out and then reach it all the way up and back and around. Three more. Take your time here. 
Really link your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And then extend your arm out in front. You'll take your wrist, pull it all the way across, just as far as it can go, and as, as far as it can go, and as far as feels comfortable for you. Then maybe you hook your elbow and give it a nice little pull. Three breaths. Good, release that arm, send it all the way down and around behind your head and lean over to the right slightly. You can even use your other hand to give it a gentle pull if that's available. Three, two, and one. Really nice work, release your hands down. Good, then send both arms right out in front of you. Flip your palms up towards the sky, then reach your arms towards the ceiling. This might be a familiar practice for you guys, but let's do a couple more rounds. Flip, release all the way down. Again, three more, out, flip, lift, down, flip, release. Last one, out, flip, lift down, flip, now hold here. And we're gonna find eagle arms. So whether you can grab for opposite elbows like so, or maybe even bind up your arms like this, just go ahead and find what variation works for you. This is a perfect place to be, so is this. And then whenever you find that place, just round forward slightly. Tuck your chin into your chest, maybe you're just rounding and holding yourself, and take three breaths. Good, inhale, come back up and unravel those arms. And let's just go right over to the other side. This time the other arm goes underneath. You can grab for opposite shoulders or you can find that double bind. This really gives a nice pull for your upper back. And then you can round forward. Beautiful work, unravel, and lift your arms all the way up in like a cactus, okay? So T out your arms, and then on your inhale, just open up through your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades to touch, and then exhale, round and press your palms and forearms together. Let's take a few of those. Inhale to open, exhale to round. Inhale to open, Exhale, two round. Last two. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale, open. Those arms should be burning. Exhale, round. And release. Woo, I'm feeling that in my arms. How about you? Feels so good, right? Good. Okay, now we're going to take our right arm and we're going to take it behind our back. Okay, so just as much as possible here. Maybe you can loop it all the way behind your back. If so, you may even see your fingertips over on the other side. You can take your other hand and kind of grab and pull, maybe even interlace your hand like this. If that's not working for you, no big deal. Just take it behind your back as much as you can, okay? And from there, you'll lean your weight back, okay? Drop your right shoulder down, and then bring your left ear to your left shoulder. So you feel this really big stretch through your neck. And then just gently wiggle your chin forward and back. Take about five breaths here. Good, now come to center. Slowly release your arm from behind you and place it in front of you. And then just take a couple moments to roll out your neck here. Good, let's take it to the other side. So you'll take your other arm, loop it behind you, just like so. And then from there, you can take that right hand and try and bind it, or just be wherever you are. Drop your left shoulder down and then pull your right ear towards your right shoulder. Feel that big stretch through your neck and just very gently come forward and back. Okay, now notice if this gives you any kind of vertigo or dizziness, then lay off and do just a little bit less. 
Really learning to listen to your body and what works for you, okay? Two more breaths. Good. Bring yourself back to center and release that arm. Hands meet here. Good. Now let's just take a couple slow neck rolls. So really slow. Bring your chin forward and around. Really taking your time here. Nice and gentle. And two more in the other direction. Beautiful. Come to center. And then we'll take a big inhale and take our arms all the way up above our head. And then on your exhale, find a twist towards the right. So bring your left hand to the outside of your right thigh. And then maybe you grab the side of your chair or the back of your chair and try and twist all the way towards the back of the room where you hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Come through center. Take your arms back up. And then exhale, twist to the other side. Gaze over your other shoulder. Give it a nice little tug, a pull for five, for four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Beautiful work. Those shoulders and arms should be feeling nice and open here. We're going to take just a little bit more in those arms. Reach your arms out to the sides. Now both of them together, send them all the way up and all the way down and back. So these big shoulder rotations up and down and back. Good. Two more up and down and back. Last one up and down and back. Let's go in the opposite direction. Back and forward, back, and forward, last two, last one, give yourself a big hug, a big squeeze, everything out, and release, then just shake out your arms, shake out your arms, shake out your shoulders, and then rest your palms on your thighs. Really good work. We just worked out our arms, softened all of that tissue and muscle in our shoulders and traps. The last part of this is a little self-massage. So go ahead and take your hands, and if you can reach your shoulders, just go ahead and press your fingers into your shoulders, into your traps, maybe into your neck. Like When was the last time you gave yourself some love and kindness like this? And Just give yourself a little massage. Anywhere you feel extra tension, just linger there a bit. That's it. And let's just take it to the other side. A little bit of love. Good. Good, release your arms down, and we'll just close out in a nice seated position with just a few rounds of collective breathing. So you can close your eyes, take an inhale, and an exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. And just notice how your shoulders and neck feel, how your body feels. And just sending some gratitude back into your body for everything that it does for you day in and day out. As always, it has been my honor sharing this practice with you all. Let me know how your shoulders and neck feel after this practice and drop in the comments any other chair yoga classes that you would like to see on my channel. I always love to hear from you. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. From my heart to yours, namaste. Namaste.